Hello guys, today's video is all about microwave. It is not about this one which I'm showing you right now. This one is the one which is broken. This served me well for the last seven years. And I bought a new one. So the new one is this hot point and is a microwave with a grill. Is a budget microwave. So I done most of my research online, and um, this one is as big as my previous one, and even the biggest dining plates that I have will fit in there perfectly. Most of the construction is of plastic and the heating element is right on top. The usual circulating plate which moves the food in a circular motion and is white metal inside. Simple press to start and stop button. There is no doubt at all. There is loads of other function like um, turbo defrost and all that, but today I'm just going to do a simple test like cooking a meal for myself. So today I'm going to do some sausages, potato and vegetables, and kind of a half baked and half grilled. So while I'm cooking, uh, preparing my lunch, let's talk about the microwave itself. So my, I bought this from Amazon for £59 and I have Prime so it's delivered the next day. Um, it is by Hot Point and the model number is MWH2422MB. It's a 24 liter 750 volt freestanding microwave and uh, like I previously said it does have a grill and the color in black. It is one of the cheapest microwave that I can find with a grill built in and I'm quite eager to test it out and hence I'm making this video for you guys. Now some of the key features from the manufacturer Bolger is that it has 24 liters capacity, um, easy to use button control, uh, you can choose from six different power level and you got the grill function for browning and crisping the food and you got automatic um, program for jack start and quick use um, to be honest with you my previous microwave have a lot of different divorce defrosting program and i never use any of those uh, basically just for me to reheat the food and to be honest it lasted seven years of abuse we have two kids now and when they're growing up we use the microwave a lot to heat up like bottles and um, other stuff that we baby related stuff in terms of dimension is like a uh, about a normal size microwave i would say and um, because of the grill function i think it does add a bit of um, a depth into it but not by much so this is my lunch a simple sausage potato and some vegetables uh, loads of garlic olive oil salt and pepper and that's it now the oven does come with this um, metal standing thing to uh, make sure the food are closer to the heating element on top now I wish I have a, a proper microwave uh, roasting tin. I'm not too sure if you should put a metal tin in there or not. I need to do some more research. But for um, testing purpose, this Pyrex bowl will do. Now I'm going to set it to about 10 minutes and then I'm going to give the food a bit of a turnover or flip. Now there is no recipe for these kind of things but I do like to watch a lot of Jamie Oliver when he was younger. Um, I do find his recipe quite simple. And nowadays, most of the celebrity chefs, they are just 
not really cooking any simple food anymore. So as you can see, um, it's piping hot. Now the microwave penetrates the food, so they cook the inside perfectly, but it's the outside which is being crisped by the grill on top. Now I do regret not having a bigger kind of container, so to spread out the food, but I can already smell the delicious aroma from the vegetables and it smells amazing let's put it back in there and um, cook it for another four minutes so it should be about 14 to 15 minutes in total So actually it stopped cooking already but you can see that the dish is still going around and around and in there and the fan is still on so this is quite a cool feature at first I don't really understand why they do it I thought okay how come the timer has ended and it's still cooking but actually how many times have you tried to use your microwave and you heat up something especially with a lot of liquid inside and then you leave it for like, I don't know, five minutes, ten minutes, you go and you know make yourself a cup of tea and you forgot about you know your food in the oven. When you come back, there is condensation everywhere in there and your food becomes soggy. What this oven is doing is it keeps it moving and it keeps the fan running. Now every minute or so it will beep to remind you that your food is done, your food is done. So I think this is quite a cool feature. At first I'm not quite get used to it, but actually it stopped the inside from condensation and actually stopped the smell from like trapped inside as well. So I think that is quite a cool feature. Okay, so let's have a look at the food. Let's see if it is ready. I know you guys are watching the video right now, but I wish you guys can smell it's amazing I know it's something simple like sausage and uh, potatoes but it smells absolutely gorgeous okay let's have a look so there you got the potatoes cooked you got the sausage cooked now I personally like it a bit more crisps and I think I made the mistake of using a um, Pyrex bowl which is a bit too thick so the food is kind of like stacked up I think if you give it a bit more space and use the purpose like crisps tin that is shallow and give you a lot more surface area I think it will crisps, crisps up a lot so for me this take another two or three minutes of grilling so I'm going to put it back in the oven it's a shame because it smells so good I just want to eat it right now have a look so you got the sausage, kind of nicely browned on the top, but still juicy in the middle. And you got potatoes, which is cooked through nicely. Some tomatoes, and you got the onions. Of gherkins, 
Now don't judge me, I do like gherkins. I eat it with my salad. I eat it with sandwiches. And here we go, that's the meal from the hot point microwave. Now because it's microwave and grill at the same time, so the chances of it not being cooked on the inside is quite slim. Now obviously you do need to leave it for long enough for it to cook, but because the microwave actually penetrates the food, um, even if it is starting from frozen, you should be able to get a very good finish. Now unlike the sausage which is grilled to death, by a grill only, this one it cooks through and the juice is still moist, which is fantastic. Add a bit of the vegetable. Mm. Beautiful. Okay, now let's cut open this potato. Okay, soft to cut, so that means that it's actually cooked through. And you look at that, still nice and fluffy inside. I would like it to be a bit more crispy, but I think I got the wrong kind of um, tin. I use a normal Pyrex, which um, has a quite high um, side and a very not, not so big a surface area. So I think the food is a bit crowded. They didn't get the even distribution of the grill, the heat, radiator heat from the grill. So next time I'm going to use a shallower pan, maybe slightly larger in size. So we get a bit more of the grill. At the same time, I think the food, the closer to the grill, obviously it will get a bit hotter. So maybe we need to get the height adjusted as well. But so far, so good. For about 15 minutes of uh, cooking time, I think this is fantastic. Mm. And of course, you can use the oven. But sometimes if you need to cook a small meal, I mean, if I'm cooking for a meal from a whole family, then of course we're going to use the range cooker. But if it's just a couple, you come back from work and you're a bit too lazy to uh, make a roast dinner, I think this is quite a um, quick and easy fix, don't you think? If you enjoy my video, please subscribe. I am growing, trying to grow my channel. This is not a sponsor video. I just happened to buy a new microwave because the old one is broke. And when I, when I was doing my research, there was hardly any UK based uh, budget microwave video that I can find. So I hope you guys find this useful. You don't have to buy it, but if you do buy it from the link below, I do get a bit of a commission from Amazon. So that will be like a cup of coffee or something. So um, if you want to buy this product, do use the link. Or if you can find it cheaper elsewhere, do go ahead. And I'll see you next time. See you. Bye-bye.